This tutorial will demonstrate how to run a presentation experiment that is already written using the main presentation application. See the presentation documentation or other tutorials for information about other ways to run presentation experiments. The presentation application may be launched from the Windows Start menu. Presentation licenses allow you to run any version you wish during your licensing period. It is also possible to have multiple presentation versions installed on the same computer at the same time. Each version is completely independent and does not interfere with other versions. Therefore, it is always possible to install newer versions without disturbing other presentation users using the same computer. All presentation versions are made to be backward compatible, so experiments written using older versions should run unaltered in newer versions. In very rare cases where backward incompatibility is unavoidable, experiments generally need only minor modifications. However, issues can occasionally arise, so if you are moving to a newer version, you should test your experiment on that version on that computer in advance. The main tab in presentation is a control panel for running experiments. When presentation starts, it will automatically load the experiment that was open the last time presentation was shut down. You may use the Experiment menu or the main tab toolbar buttons to open a different experiment. You may also use the Experiment Navigation box on the left side of the main tab. This box contains links to experiments organized into folders. Double-click on a link to open that experiment. You may add or organize links in this box using the Context menu visible by right-clicking in the box. Links may be dragged and dropped between folders and deleted with the delete key. Note that when experiment links are removed from the navigation box, the actual experiment files are not deleted. Presentation will automatically add a link to the history folder for each experiment that has been opened. The experiment file name text displays the complete file name of the main experiment file for the currently loaded experiment. The log file directory is the folder into which presentation by default places all data files produced during the experiment. You can change this location by typing directly in the edit box or launching the folder selection dialog. This dialog also allows you to create new folders. The log file directory is also displayed on the scenarios tab. To easily view the current contents of the log file directory, click this button to set the folder browser to the log file directory. The file list box below will then display the contents of that folder. You can also change the log file directory by selecting a folder on the Scenarios tab and clicking the left arrow button. If the log file directory does not exist, presentation will tell you when the experiment is run. Depending on the settings for the experiment, you may also see a Subject ID box or a Log File Notes box. The information you enter will be stored in the data files produced during the experiment. Note that all information entered on the main tab is stored as part of the experiment. If anything is changed, presentation will ask you if you want to save those changes when opening a new experiment or exiting presentation. The list be box beneath the Run button contains the sequence of presentation scenarios for the experiment identified by file name. A presentation scenario is one section of an experiment during which presentation has control of the computer. Separate data files are produced for each scenario. The division of an experiment into scenarios is up to the experiment author. To run the experiment, click the Run button. If the experiment is configured to use a subject ID by prompting for one, you will be forced to enter one at this time. The file names used for data files will depend on the experiment settings. If files with those file names already exist, presentation will warn you about this. The status window is used to control the execution of multiple scenarios and can also be used to display feedback to the experimenter during scenarios. The box in the upper left contains a list of the scenarios in the experiment. The information in the rest of the status window applies to the scenario highlighted in this box. 
The scenario label gives the complete file name of the scenario file. The name label will only appear during or after the scenario and only if the scenario author defined a name for it. The log file label indicates the complete file name of the main data file that will be produced when the scenario is run. It is possible for a scenario to override this file name, but that is probably not common. To run the highlighted scenario, click the Run Scenario button. Presentation will analyze the contents of the scenario to be run and load stimuli used during the scenario. If any errors are encountered during this phase, you will receive an error dialog. The exact cause of the error will be displayed in the presentation editor. If this happens, there is something wrong with the way the experiment is written or configured, and you should contact the experiment author. If a scenario is either not visual or using a secondary monitor, the status window will be visible at all times. If this is the case, the status label text will indicate the state of the scenario. During the loading of stimuli, the stimulus monitor may also display a stimuli loading message. Depending on the experiment settings, presentation may wait for a return key press after loading the stimuli. The stimulus monitor will display a ready message during this time. Both the return key prompt and the stimuli loading and ready screens may be suppressed in some experiments, resulting in the scenario starting immediately and nothing being displayed on the stimulus monitor. By default, you can quit the scenario before it starts or at any time during the scenario by pressing either the Escape key or the Q key. It is possible for an experiment to use a key other than Q as the secondary quit key or to disable it entirely. In cases where the subject is using the keyboard, a key sequence may replace just the Escape key for quitting the scenario. You may pause and resume a scenario using the Assign, Pause, and Resume keyboard keys, which by default are P and R. Depending on the experiment settings, the analysis window may appear when the scenario ends. If it appears beneath the status window, you can click on its icon in the Windows taskbar or switch to it using Alt-Tab. This window contains data describing events that occurred during the scenario. The appearance of this window may be suppressed for some experiments. When you are done inspecting any data, you can close or minimize the window. Click the Continue button to move on to the next scenario. Presentation will highlight the next scenario in the list which is checked. However, you can always switch to any arbitrary scenario by clicking on it. If the status window is visible during a scenario, it is possible for the scenario to display feedback to the experimenter using the parameter, terminal, and display boxes in the lower half of the status window. When the scenario ends, this information will continue to be displayed until you click the Continue button. It is possible to automatically run through all scenarios which are checked without having to click the Continue and Run Scenarios buttons in between. To do this, check all the scenarios you wish to run, make sure the first scenario is highlighted, and click the Run Non-Stop button. This option only makes sense if the experiment is configured to not wait for a return key press to start the scenario. Although subsequent scenarios are run automatically, if the scenarios are visual, the Windows desktop will still appear between scenarios. If the Quit key is pressed during any scenario, the entire sequence is stopped. Even if you are not involved in writing or configuring the experiment, it is helpful to know that some of the experiment settings we have discussed relevant to running experiments appear on the General panel of the Settings tab.